What is macro photography? How's it shot? How's it used? All of that, much more, coming up. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the Camera Strategy Series. In this episode specifically we're going to be talking about how is macro lens photography shot, how is it used and what is it. So basically macro lens photography is photography either shot with a macro lens or close up on an object, image, specifically nature or stars or something like that, which I suppose it is nature. But for example, in this video, we'll be using daffodils. Anyway, this is the sort of macro lens photography we're talking about. My colours are a little bit washed out on the camera, so we are going to be using. Um, but basically, this is this is, for example, one of the photos I'm going to take here. Obviously, the colours look a little bit more washed out, but they're very rich colours, very focused in on that. And uh, we'll take that picture there. And then for getting more in depth, I'm going to try and get out my macro lens which is in this kit, which I shall review at the end. But basically that's an Oki 2-in-1 macro and wide-angle lens kit. Now I shall get out my macro lens um, and attach that to the phone and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the macro lens on the camera at the moment. Sorry, this fish isn't that great. It is literally raining right now. and I'm trying not to get my screen wet or anything, so I'm kind of covering it a little bit here. Um, so, macro lens will basically zoom right in on the subject. I'm just going to check the exact zoom on this. As I said, I'll be reviewing this at the end. Uh, it is a 15 times zoom macro lens. Now, this comes in the Oki 2 in 1 macro man wide angle lens kit, as I briefly said a minute ago. Um, so, basically, I'm going to zoom in on that. You can focusing now. Okay, it's running to focus then. The problem is it's windy and these things are moving. So I'm just trying to zoom in on another one. I'll try one over here. It's slightly let more out of the wind. So on oh, there we go. We're in focus. Got out of focus. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it's more in focus. It's dipping out a little bit there with the wind, but we'll bear with that. Um so basically the macro lens will allow me to zoom right in on a subject. There we go, it's focused quite a bit there. Um, and it will zoom in when it's like it will focus when it's really zoomed in rather than if I'm really far back and it's so blurry it's insane um, but if we go right into here you can see it's very zoomed in any second now very focused living like that obviously the colors look a lot more rich on my phone they look amazing by the way um, and basically what I'm trying to do is set down the camera over here and I'll try and take a photo with and without the macro lens I'm just trying to angle this camera right just to get the focus right. So, there is it with the macro lens. Take the macro lens off. There it is without the macro lens. Obviously, zooms it in quite a lot and focuses it when you're up close. Take another one. There we go. And there we go. So, I shall put those up in just a second. Um, before I do the review of the uh, lens kit but those are two pretty simple photos of the kind of macro lens sort of thing so just to explain a little bit more of what macro lens is um, it zooms in wide angle zooms out and widens wide angle uh, wide angles the um, kind of zoom on the camera so it's almost like an auto zoom so I'll do the review on the lens kit now but Essentially, having a macro lens allows you to take a lot more nature photography, up close photography of pretty much anything, but especially nature. Um, and for vlogging, wide angle is very good. And for the two combined in one lens kit, it's very good to get the Yoki lens kit. We'll head right in and do the review now. Okay, so into the review. Sorry about the quality of image, by the way, in this little snippet of video. The weather has turned on me and the lighting in this room is now awful. So we shall live with it. Right. So this is exactly what I just used out in the garden. 
Uh, this is my 15 times zoom macro lens. If I can try and focus on that. No, it does not want to say that. 15 times macro lens. So that's what I just used. If I can unscrew this from this. There we go. Nice and secure. <sighs> we know that much. This is the clip that will fit on the back of the phone. Bump. And here is the lens cap. And whoop. Here is the Oki wide angle lens, 0 0.45 times to be precise. Now, these two can work in conjunction with each other to kind of zoom in and zoom out at the same time. Um, I kind of have to do that because my one is, I, um, I, I don't think this is going to happen with your one, but it just had to happen to me. Um, I'm not one of those sort of people, by the way. Um, yeah, I kind of got one that was a little bit dodge and it basically meant my wide angle lens does not fit on the clip it does not screw into that little clip bit there without being attached to the macro lens as well uh, so that's a little bit dodge but apart from that great kit doesn't really matter with the like, wide angle lens it doesn't bother me that much um, but just be a bit wary with, wary with that with yours um, but I would recommend this so highly it is such a good little pocket sized thing to have I mean literally my hand in comparison it is smaller than my hand it fits right in my palm it's such a good little thing to have. It all packs away very neatly as well. I just threw that across the room. Lovely me. Um, I'm going to try and pack it away now just so you can have a little bit of a look at this. I won't do a full comprehensive review. Um, but in here we have like a carabiner lens wipe. Uh, the very felty lovely case. Uh, which zip up pocket size. And uh, very nice to carry around. Especially for photography and stuff like that. Just try and screw these lenses on together to pack them away. Put the lens cap on to here and then pop the clip away as well and we shall zip this up if you do want a full comprehensive review on this which i did actually do uh, i don't know if it is out yet i apologize if, it's, if it isn't um but i will do or have done a full comp i think it should be out by now comprehensive review on this oki lens kit um and it was on my tips and strategy videos series for youtube and all that so go and check that out. I will probably link it up in the card somewhere around here or in the end screens or something like that. So definitely go and check that out. Here is the Oki kit all together, like the whole case and everything like that. Um, I do really like the feel of this. Nice kind of leathery case. I don't think it actually is leather, but it's a nice plasticky substitute or synthetic alternative. Um, but yeah, I really like this kit. Really nice two-in-one lens kit and very nice for me to carry around pocket size wherever I go to take photography. So yeah, I shall leave all that down below. I shall leave everything I used to film this video in the description down below. If you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more camera technique videos just like this and all the other content on the channel which shall be linked to down in the description or on the channel is everywhere in individual playlists especially suited for you. I have put a lot of effort into the channel over the last few weeks and months, so definitely go and check out some of that content um, and see what you think of it. And if you do like it, if you haven't already subscribed, then consider subscribing after that at least. So, uh, yes, um, that should be it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'll be talking about vlogging in the next episode, so make sure to come back and see that. I won't make this episode drag on any longer, but definitely compare those photos, have a little look, see what you think, and consider buying the Oki 2-in-1 lens kit. Thanks for checking out this video. Until the next one, my name's been Corka, and goodbye.